Hey everybody, welcome back to Where's My Tell. I'm Brant. I'm Lisa. And we are here with a haul video. This is, yeah, were you going to say something? Nope. Okay. <laughs> this, is a, <laughs> this is a Coles and Hastings haul video. Uh, clothes and comics. Yeah. So, interesting combination for this one. <laughs> but we had some cold cash that was about to expire. Yes. So we decided to go shopping. I got some shirts. So <laughs> I'm show you what I got. <laughs> Alright, so some of these are comic-y, geeky, and some of them are not. We're going to start with those. Um, oh, I'll say that with the last. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Sorry for the bag Yes, sounds. we didn't take them out. You want to go ahead and take them all out and just <laughs> sit there while I'm showing this one? All right, so like a week, two two weeks ago, a week ago? It was a week ago. Yeah. Um, you went and got some, you and your mom and your sister got Star Wars shirts. Oh, I should have brought that one in here. Yeah, you should have. We could go around and go get that real fast okay. while he's showing his off. Yeah, so... As we all know, The Force Awakens, Star Wars Episode 7, is coming out this December. And obviously, Star Wars sales are going on and all that stuff. But we all wanted, we kind of wanted Star Wars shirts to wear at the premiere because we're geeky like that. So um, I got two actually, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to wear. But I'll show this one Millennium Falcon there. Nice light color. Has the Star Wars logo. And uh, really like that one. Got a really good uh, deal for that one. And these were all on sale too. So it was yeah. sale plus the Coles Cash plus a discount. I'm going to see if the dog went in. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, so you can go ahead. And, you want me to show the other one? Or you want to go ahead and show that I one? I can show mine. Okay. And this was actually a shirt for girls. Yeah, a buy. Star Wars one. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. Let's see. It's, it's like Yeah, it's like one of those uh, uh, Harlequin novel covers a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's cool though. Oh, I liked it. Yeah, it's awesome. I, I love that shirt. It's really cool. So, alright, so some non comic y stuff we got. I think this, yeah. This, uh, was it Rockin' Republic? Yes. Yeah. Rockin' Republic shirt. Nice. I gray like it. Shirt. Yeah, it was. It's like, uh, it's almost purpley gray. Yeah, purpley gray. And I tried it on, it's really comfortable fits really nicely so I kind of wanted some non-comic mm. shirts and stuff because I, I when I came here I got a lot of comic stuff <laughs> yeah. and now I'm kind of getting burnt out and I want some regular stuff here you and go. we looked out on that one it was on sale yeah <clears throat> all right so something I've already showed no you put it back here oh the Star Wars oh that's one? the okay yeah I didn't realize where I put it okay <laughs> so got this uh hoodie I remember what brand it is. Is this Helix? Is I this think? the Helix? Okay. Maybe. Oh, I'm not sure if it was Helix or not. Um, instinct is a virtue. <laughs> yeah, it's Helix. Okay. <laughs> so this is it's like a it's a blue, but it's it's got like a little bit of two tone yeah. up in there. It's black. Yeah. So it's a really this is so comfortable. <laughs> and I know it's long sleeve, it's Texas, but it does get a little chilly in this part of Texas. And this is actually a thin shirt, even though it's long sleeve, so it's kind of like perfect. <laughs> a little bit form fitting, but <laughs> we decided that it looked really good and it was nice. Yeah. So <laughs> went ahead and got that. Um, let's see. Chris, if you're watching, be <laughs> jealous because I got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt. And I really like this color. Um, I've got a couple other shirts that are. Close in color, this is probably a little bit lighter than that. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the, it's the one like from the 90s cartoon, which is my favorite version. And, and you know, it's TMNT, how you, can you go wrong with that? And again, comfortable shirt. A little snug up in this area we, we found, but <laughs> yeah. we're hoping uh, after a wash it'll be better. But that one was also very on sale. Yeah, I think we, that one was like five bucks yeah. when all, set, all of a sudden done. This is another Helix shirt. And talk about comfortable. This is one of the most comfortable shirts I've ever put on my body. <laughs> um, two tone. You got kind of like a, it's almost like a rust yeah, color. Rust burnt orange. Yeah. Something. And then black in the middle. And it's just, it's a thin long sleeve shirt, mm -hmm. a long sleeve tee, basically. Yeah. And it is so comfortable, so soft. Mm -hmm. If you guys have not tried Helix brand, you should go try it. It's very, very comfortable. But I really like the look of that one. So, uh, I wanted to get that one. Mm -hmm. So I got a couple options. I'll throw that one there. And then the last one I got was the other Star Wars one. I saw this, I had to get it. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one I'm going to wear yet. But this is just this is too funny. It's Darth Vader. 
but I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says free throat hugs. <laughs> that's just, that's hilarious. I could not pass that up. Absolutely love that shirt. I think he's going to end up wearing that one. I think I'm going to end up wearing that one too. <laughs> but that's that's just too cool. I could not pass that up. So, And that's all the, uh, the clothing. Yep. So we also got a couple of comics. We went to Hastings tonight and they had a comic event there. They were doing the Valiant thing that we talked about in a previous video. Yeah. We missed that. Because we went out to dinner. Right. Um, we were a little late. Yeah, so it was over by the time we got there. But we didn't think about this when we went to look for comics. And they were like picked over like crazy. All the new stuff, um, well, most of the new stuff, yeah. was like missing. You know, the Batman and Robin Eternal weekly series, uh, Avengers was gone. Mm -hmm. uh, even the Image Title Paper Girls was gone. Um, there was several things that were just totally missing. No copies whatsoever. And we were like, oh, we it picked just, the wrong day. It just figures the week that I decide I want to start getting physical copies again. Yeah. Instead of going to Comixology. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And because she was really excited and looking forward to the Marvel number ones. And we get there and like half of them are gone. <laughs> but we did get two. We got three. Oh, we, well, two of the Marvel. Well, yeah, two We got Marvel. three books. So. Here, you, you do know. this one since. Okay. He's your favorite. That's fine. Well, I've been talking enough. You can go ahead and show <laughs> okay. those first. I got the Invincible Iron Man yeah, number one with Scotty Young variant. Yeah. So, I'm a big fan. And if we had known, this one was buy one get one free because it was bag and boarded. Yeah. We didn't know until we checked out. So and we didn't get another one in the bag. <laughs> yeah, we could have gotten buy one get one free. We were tempted to go back. <laughs> and uh, this one's actually from last week, so you want to yes. show that one. Uh, Archie number three. Yeah. We Which, have the other two, so we figured. Yeah, go ahead and physical continue. copies. Yeah, so and you know we're fans of the series. I also love. I wanted to mention I love the quality of, of the, the book. Yeah. I like the paper for the cover. Mm-hmm. It's it feels a little different than the other ones. Yeah, it does. It's got. A, it's I don't know what smooth. printer they use. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it's really it is. cool. It's a really nice paper quality that Archie Comics is using, and then of course Amazing Spider-Man number one. Which, as you guys know, if you watch my review on Comic Frontline, I've already read, but Lisa has not. So, and you, you just have to have this. Um, I would gotten a digital copy of it, so we got the physical copy now. And, you know, again, Amazing Spider-Man number one, there are like six stories in this book. Um, and I, I gave it a perfect score. I think she's going to love it too, so. I hope so. I'm excited to start from the beginning, sort of. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> For so, Spider-Man. Yeah, it's, it's a new era. It's a new status quo and everything. Yeah. And then we decided we're going to start doing the physical thing again because we just kind of miss it. Yeah. And our tablets keep running out of space. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we got previews catalog with the Marvel uh, separate one too. So we got the previews for, uh, this is for December shipping books. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at that and maybe hit up DCBS or something. Yeah, we had done the research a few months ago to see which was actually cheaper. Between online. that and Midtown and a couple other I services. actually went through and like we made our list and I went through every, like the top three. Yeah. And I put in every book and figured out the shipping and everything. And DCBS is DCBS one by yeah. a long margin. Yeah. It was a lot cheaper than Midtown. Yeah, definitely. If if you guys haven't checked <clears throat> it out, it's uh, DCBService.com, yeah. and you do have to pre-order like your you know a couple two months, months yeah two months in advance like you're going through the right. previous catalog. Um, so we're gonna have to run up to Hastings again or the comic shop for the next two months yeah. before we start getting the yeah. DCBS Or just stuff. To continue doing the comicsology thing for a couple more months. Oh, that's true. Either way. Well, it depends if it's like a number one that we started. We oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get, right. Yeah. That's that's kind of what we're picking up Archie, too. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they didn't have, did you say they didn't have Shattered Empire number two? Oh, yeah, I knew that was something else. Yeah, they didn't have Shattered Empire number two either. I so. was upset. And the comic <laughs> shops here, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> we're, we just prefer going to Hastings. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put it like that. Um, uh, so, yeah. Sorry, I think I interrupted you when you were talking about previews. No, I was that. just, no, that, that's pretty much <laughs> it. We were just going to start uh, getting physical copies yeah. again. Um, we're going to sit down and make an event of it and put our list together. Yeah, <laughs> and Go yeah. through the book. And we'll share it with you guys and we'll be able to do more haul videos mm -hmm. um, every every month when they start to come in. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll get we'll them try weekly. Every week, we'll try to get them weekly. Um, we'll have to see what the costs are. Hopefully, because I, I need them for... The yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We we'll prefer. We'll make it work. If yeah. we have to cut a title here or there to get the to pay for the shipping. Yeah. We'll figure it out. The good thing is we read a lot of the same stuff. So. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. 
we have very similar tastes. They're they're like There's a couple a of things here and there, but yeah. for the main for the mainstream books, we're pretty much on on. Yeah, point I think I like more X Men than than you do, so I might end up with a few more. But maybe, you just still might read them. Maybe we'll see with the new titles. Yeah. I may really like them. So especially because Umberto Ramos is doing extraordinary. Oh, is X Men? Yeah. Okay. And I love Umberto Ramos. That's not art. the one with the villains, right? Like, no. Okay. That's, uh, I was just looking at that and I'm like, I don't want to read that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember which one's which now. But, uh, no, I mean, a lot of... There was a video that Chris and I did. Um, was it on his... No, it was on Frontline. We did it on Comic Frontline, if you guys wanted to look it up. It was when they first announced all the new Marvel number ones. We did a video on the Marvel number ones and we went through the whole... Uh, preview thing that they had at the time and there were very few that we weren't interested in and some of them I've just by reading Amazing Spider-Man I've become interested in some I was on the fence about so I, I think I'm going to actually enjoy a lot of, of uh, the new Marvel stuff uh, DC stuff eh, <laughs> we won't talk about that but I'm trying to get to there's the X-Men some. stuff yeah there's no there's definitely a few I've, I've heard that Batman and Robin Eternal is really good and that's why I wanted to pick up the first issue um, but I'll just have to, uh, I wanted a physical copy. I just, I, we both prefer reading physical. We just, yeah. it was, uh, a little easier to do it the other way, especially when you get codes and stuff from your friends sometimes. <laughs> 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 that made it a little easier, a little but more it financially. Really, it started a lot when we were packing and moving and all that stuff. That's true. Then, so it yeah. was like, I don't want to deal with it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then it just became, you know one thing after another and we just never got back to it yeah. uh, did i miss the x-men stuff or <laughs> have i not gotten to it yet i know i passed the one with the villains early on oh okay <laughs> well then i probably missed it all <laughs> i'm not gonna bore you guys with this yeah. one through the catalog is there anything else you wanted to say uh, i don't think so i think okay. i'd never seen a previous catalog before really so this is it was interesting yeah she's mm -hmm. never seen one before it's like huge i can't believe they do this every month yeah and, <laughs> and they're it's full color it's awesome it was only yeah. four dollars yeah i thought it was actually more than that and you know she thought you'd have to pay for both of these and um for you guys that don't know the uh, marvel one is free if you buy the regular previews one see look how huge that sucker is. yeah because <laughs> it's got every everything that diamond carries in it. right oh here we go uh, that's new x-men extraordinary x-men that's got old man logan in it and storm so that's okay. not that's the one that Ember goes for. Rainless is drawing. Are the um the few I mean the past X Men still around? Are they gonna yeah, still be there? Yeah, that's them. The new X Men. Yeah. Okay. All new X Men. All new X Men. Yeah, it's still oh, the same. Oh, it's still title. gonna be there. Yeah. Okay, it's just renumbered. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they just kind of started good. a new volume, basically. I don't remember which one it was with the. I know which one you're talking about. It it was before that because yeah. I hadn't got to that. I must have missed it. It was before that. The Lone Wolf or whatever. Oh, before the Red Wolf? Red Wolf. Okay. We got Star Scarlet Witch, Warden, <laughs> Supreme, not talking about that, right? No. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so it was like, before Red yeah, Wolf. Yeah, before Red Wolf. Oh, Uncanny X Men. Yeah, that's, that's what it. it was. Jeez, I'm sorry. I completely <laughs> forgot. Yeah, that's the one with Magneto, and I'm actually going to try that one. You are? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested. I tried. I read Schism and all of that. Yeah. And I tried to follow that side. Yeah. And I was just like, I'm not interested at well, all. Well, yeah, the previous Uncanny X-Men, before they relaunched them, was still, it was Cyclops and Magneto and stuff. Yeah. So it's basically the same, in a way. But. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're really excited. We're getting back into the comics and stuff, and we got the previous catalog to get us started. A couple of the Marvel number ones, physical now. Mm -hmm. Got some shirts, got some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Happy. Yeah. Um, fun and we're, night. Yeah, very fun mm -hmm. night. And uh, we're going to start um, doing more Mario Maker soon. Yes. If you guys haven't checked it out, we did a, a video, our first impression, our first play. We did the 10 Mario Challenge. Yeah. On uh, Frontline Gaming Zone YouTube channel. Wait, did we do the 10 Mario Challenge? Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, we did. We had played another thing and it didn't work, remember? So I couldn't remember if it was the 10 Mario Challenge. I think we did do the 10 Mario Challenge, though. I think we were trying to do the 100 Mario Challenge. Yeah. And that's the video that that's messed up right. on us. So we we're having a little a few tech issues. <laughs> yeah. That's why we haven't posted another one for all you guys that don't know. So. The software that came with our um, capture card just totally 
yeah. stopped working on us yeah, it, for that last video. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know. It, it was, but it we're worked, coming back. It worked perfectly the first time. That first, it, it was, was like, amazing. And we were like, oh, we don't even have to do anything. Just hit record and it's going to work again. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Maybe we're going to have to like reboot the computer in every between time. every video. Yeah. <laughs> which is going to be annoying, but do what works, right? So yeah. anyway, I guess that's it for this whole video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought of uh, Amazing Spider-Man, Ben Spider man R2-3. Um, what books you're picking up. Yeah, what books you're picking up, what you, what you think we should pick up uh, in December. Yeah. Because that's what this one's for, and let us know mm -hmm. uh, what you're most looking forward to. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Yeah. And uh, check out all our other stuff. We already mentioned Comic Frontline, Frontline Gaming Zone. Check out LastInverPress.com, mm -hmm. Zone4Podcast.com. And anything else for you? Nope. <laughs> Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> Last Denver Price is the main one. Yeah, we we got Chocolate Pancake Ninja coming out. Yes. In a couple of weeks. And a very special print that we're very excited about. Yes. It's going to debut at the Rose City Comic Con. In Tyler, Texas. Tyler, yes. Texas. So we're very excited about that. And we'll, are we going to make that? We'll talk about that off the <laughs> So it's a really cool in the season kind of. Fun print, print. fun print that you guys are all gonna love. <laughs> I think so. So it's awesome. It's gorgeous. It's so, good. It's so good. We're so happy. Yeah. So <laughs> until then. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time in the next video. For now.